New updates for red list passengers. In this video update, we will talk about Heathrow Terminal 3, which will become a dedicated zone for red list passengers from the 1st of June 2021. In the past couple of weeks, the airport was under immense pressure to implement new plans to separate arrivals before a possible half-term rush. Recently, Heathrow has announced, it is reserving one of its terminals to red list passengers from next month, after disparagement that they were being put in long queues, along with more passengers. Europe's biggest airport has been under rising pressure, to separate passengers coming from red list, and non-red list countries after large crowds were seen, blending in the arrivals hall. Big queues have formed at the UK border in recent days, with some travellers said to have been waiting, up to six hours. Heathrow mentioned on the 21st of May 2021, that from the 1st of June 2021, Terminal 3, which has been shut for the past year, will be reserved for dealing fully with the passenger, from red list countries. Sometime later, Heathrow Terminal 4 will take over as the dedicated area for red list passengers, who are under the UK government's traffic light system, which came into effect on Monday, are believed to have come from destinations with higher coronavirus infection rates. It originates after Grant Shapps, the UK Transport Secretary on Thursday, provided Heathrow until the end of May to come up with strategies to separate arrivals before a possible half-term rush. The airport said, dealing with passengers from territories with various levels of alerts, was logistically very thought-provoking. On Friday, a Heathrow spokesperson stated, Red list routes will probably be a highlight of UK travel, for the predictable future, as countries vaccinate their populations of various proportions. We are familiarizing Heathrow to this longer-term reality, by primarily opening a reserved arrivals facility in Terminal 3, from the 1st of June 2021 for red list travelers, coming on direct flights. The measures to reserve a terminal to red list travelers, follows pressure not only from passengers and airlines, but also ministers, and Heathrow workers. The UK government has been blamed for sending out mixed signals, on whether travellers should travel to destinations on the Amber List, with several ministers spreading different instruction. Boris Johnson, this week tried to clear up the misunderstanding, by saying individuals must have exceptional reasons, to travel to Amber List countries. In spite of this, up to 270,000 people were expected to have booked, to fly to destinations on the list by the weekend. Grant Shapps, the transport secretary has requested people to be patient, specifying that, other holiday destinations would soon go on the green list, by this summer. This is the end of today's video update. If you found this video useful, please share your thoughts with us by commenting below. Thanks for watching today's update.